Well, I'm joined now by uh, Professor Richard Hayes from Australia, who's taken over the editorship of Amy's new journal, which is um, called MedEd Publish. Richard, can you tell us a little bit about this? What's the difference of this journal to a medical teacher, for instance? Well, John, I think the really exciting thing about it is that it's an incredibly open process, including peer review. So it's what we call a post-publication peer review journal, which means that with quite rapid turnaround time, a submitted paper can be posted online and referees are chosen and, and nominated and invited. And quite quickly, we have um, a discussion online um, and the reviews are open with the reviewers identified. So. With, with a normal journal, all of that happens, often taking some weeks before the publication appears. With this journal, it appears very quickly, and then the discussion and the feedback and commentary around mm -hmm. the paper is live and open to all to read. There are a lot of differences then, aren't there, between a, a, a post-publication peer-reviewed journal and the traditional journals which we're all aware of. And my feeling is that the traditional journals can't accept all the applications, all the submissions which are made to them and now there are more people submitting than can get published. Yes that is true, I, I think the, the um, successful publication rates are falling to alarmingly low levels mm -hmm. for many journals. But I, I think uh, the advantage of the MedEd Publish model is it removes bias from mm -hmm. most sources. Mm -hmm. So it, in this case uh, a re if a reviewer does not like the paper and gives it a really bad review mm -hmm that doesn't prevent publication. Mm -hmm. So we, we intend to pr um, publish papers and then for our community of practice in medical education, there is this open discussion about strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And I've, mm -hmm. I'd like to think it's an educational experience for authors, reviewers, and the general readership mm -hmm, as yeah. well. I think as a, as a writer of a paper, if you were perhaps a junior to the game of writing papers, it would be a great learning experience to be able to submit and have a lot of uh, comments fly back quite quickly. Yes, we, we do ask our reviewers to be constructive mm -hmm. and uh, most reviews are very positively framed so this isn't a case where you're likely to get uh, you know, roasted by a reviewer, mm -hmm. you're likely to get helpful feedback mm -hmm. because we do have the facility in the version that launched in this July this year mm -hmm. to submit a revision of a paper so you actually can receive the feedback mm -hmm go away, mm -hmm. rethink, revise the paper, mm -hmm. and then submit version two mm -hmm. with, with your responses to what you've changed and what, why you've done it, mm -hmm. again, open to the, to mm -hmm. the, the readership. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a very unusual uh, feature which most mm -hmm. journals do not offer. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, I think this is the second year, now third year maybe. Yeah, we're just entering our third mm -hmm. year of, of its... Uh, yeah its current form, yes. Yeah. And the, the, I remember initially when we were launching it at Amy a couple of years ago, I think there was a little bit of, of uh, uh, hostility or, or misunderstanding because the, the journal uh, wa wasn't recognised uh, in any way. Are we able to make some progress on that front at the yes, moment? Yes, we are very close to submitting um, our case for various indexing services. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite a complicated job. You have to be able to demonstrate uh, mm -hmm. substantial numbers of papers as well as a whole lot of back-end technical mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, things which which are being done mm -hmm. at the moment or mm -hmm. have been done recently mm -hmm. so we do plan to uh, submit we think by the end of 2018 and then there's going to be a, a, a mm -hmm. period of a few months mm -hmm. so we, we hope mm -hmm. we have a very strong case. Yeah. Already I mean, we've been many submissions and many publications uh, uh, over these last three years so, but this, with getting that recognition, the street credibility of the, of the journal goes up, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. I, I think what's happening is that the, the way we measure impact of journal articles is, is evolving. Mm -hmm. So it used to be about uh, citation indices. Mm. I, I think what we were able to show is that uh, even if at the moment you don't get listed um, in, a, in a high impact factor journal uh, arrangement, mm. We can we document the numbers of uh, views and downloads, and we're, we're getting some of our papers are being viewed thousands of times and right? downloaded yeah. hundreds mm -hmm. of times. Exciting. It is picked up by Google Scholar and several other um, mm -hmm. uh, indexing services Good. already, Good. and there there are um, a substantial mm -hmm. number of papers cited yeah. 
in, mm -hmm. in other journals mm -hmm. yeah. that we've already been able mm -hmm. to track. And of course the content of the journal, from what I've, I've, I've read and seen of it, is that it sometimes has focused areas in, in areas of particular interest or topics of particular interest. Yes, the, what we've done in the first cut two or three years is we've planned um, a theme every three months and this tends to lump um, issues together. Mm -hmm. So just at the moment the theme is humanities, mm -hmm. the next theme is um, I think continuing professional development. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean that themed papers can't be submitted at any time, but we get theme editors who come mm -hmm. up with a, a collection of papers mm -hmm. around the theme. Mm -hmm. And some of these have been uh, really interesting. Mm -hmm. It has varied a little bit, mm -hmm. but it, it certainly gives um, a flagship uh, mm -hmm. attention for mm -hmm. a period of time. What's happening of course is that the, the whole issue of, of issues is becoming somewhat outdated by live interactive online formats. So mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. a sense um, we don't have issues, it sounds like we do, mm -hmm. but what happens is that the journal is a continuous yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and readily accessible. Uh, yes, yes. So if I were to want to write a, a, a short article for MedEd Publish, how would I go about What's the process for me to go about submitting that to, to you or your uh, office? Well, it's relatively straightforward and yet a little different to some of the other journals. So mm. you go to the, the, uh, the Amy Meded Publish website mm -hmm. and uh, all the, under this information for authors, all the instructions are there. One of the things that's different is that um, you actually build the manuscript in the system as the author. So uh, it's very straightforward. The, the instructions are there. There's a video online there for people to watch. To, uh, to tell you how to do it and to show you what to do. Mm. It's quite an intuitive process, but in a sense you've got to, you've got to build mm -hmm. the... Um, the uh, you don't just upload a, a Word document or a PDF, you, you insert this into the framework that we give you, but it's very straightforward. Right. And this really is the second journal now which Amy is responsible for, Medel, Medel Teacher, which of course is celebrating its 40th anniversary of this conference, is, uh, is the other one. Uh, how do you imagine selling is um, uh, MedEd published during the during the conference? Well, I think one of the differences between medical teacher and MedEd publish is that medical teacher is becoming quite hard to get published in, mm. and they are they're having to focus more on on um, uh, kind of research and pivotal commentaries. Mm. MedEd publish, we publish a whole range of things. We really enjoy nice letters to the editor. Uh, we enjoy uh, personal op opinions and commentaries and these are things that are hard to get published in other journals. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think we're, we're not looking just for research or just for uh, very uh, highly scholarly um, uh, commentaries on how to do things. Mm. We do publish a number of 12 tips type papers so there are some similarities with Medical Teacher but it's, um, we've got much more space. Uh, medical Teacher has yeah. quite confined mm -hmm. page space. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in MedEd Publish, in theory, we, yeah. we could publish huge amounts of information. And we do th mm -hmm. therefore publish sometimes quite long documents, mm -hmm. which are really consensus statements or complicated yeah. reports of really meaty issues yeah. in medical education. Yeah. Yeah. Richard, thanks very much for speaking to us about it. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be a great champion for MedEd Publish. Uh, now yes. as it, uh, it goes into another year. Thanks well, very much. Well, thank you very much, John. I'm, I'm a very enthusiastic about the project and I hope during the conference people will come and look for us to, to ask questions. Okay. Thanks, Richard.